Hi, I'm Jason, and uh, this is Technique of the Week. Uh, so glad you guys joined me. Uh, today we're gonna be showing you, you can see, I mean, right here across our patio that we just did, you can see this like white line that goes across here. Uh, in a couple minutes, we're gonna be showing you exactly how to, how to fix that, how to help kind of blend that in so you don't see it as much. Um, stuff like this happens on a job. You know, there's different variables with concrete. It's, a, it's kind of a difficult thing to, to do sometimes. You know, you, you think you do everything right and then something like this happens. So, um, you know, this is gonna be a, a, a technique to help uh, fix that and um, hopefully blend it in a lot better and make it so it's less noticeable. We're going to use the same colored powdered release that we used on the job, and we're gonna uh, mix that up with a little bit of sealer and a little bit of xylene, and that's gonna make like a, almost like a, a stain that we can put on top of there, and that's gonna be a common color with the rest of the patio, and it's gonna help it to blend in. In order to break this release powder down, um, we're gonna put uh, a little bit of xylene in there first. We're gonna go one-to-one -one with uh, xylene and sealer, um, that because the release breaks down a lot better um, in the xylene in a straight solvent rather than putting it right in the acrylic right away. It just mixes up a lot better. So first thing I'm gonna do is just put a little bit, we don't need that much because it's not that you know big of area. Now in order to get the right amount of, of release, we're just gonna take a paint stick, a normal paint stick, and I'm just gonna put a little bit, like just, it doesn't take much. So I'm just gonna put just a tiny bit in there I'm just gonna tilt the bucket a little bit like this and I'm gonna stir it. When you're doing something like this, you can always make it darker. Never start by putting a whole bunch in at once because it's always uh, easier to add a little bit more. That solvent that I put in there is breaking down the release. This will help put it into a liquid form. Now, to see how my color is gonna look on the actual slab, what I can do, what I like to do, is actually splash it on the side of this clear bucket and I, as I'm doing that, I can kind of look and see how opaque it's gonna be just by how, uh, how much of the bucket I can see through it. So I think that's actually pretty good because I don't want it too dark. We don't want to make that, that, uh, that spot stand out the opposite way, you know, uh, dark. So this is gonna be, a, uh, I think, a good color. So once I've got that like I like it, then I'm gonna put just a little bit of sealer in there to help lock it in. On this particular job, we're using our, our D1 sealer. This sealer is, is one that we, we recommend at Decorcrete. It's great for steel and stamped concrete. Enhances the color good, plus it also has a, uh, a penetrating sealer in it too, so it helps them a freeze thaw, and it just makes it less porous. I'm just gonna dump about half, again, about half sealer, half, half xylene. This is about empty. I'm gonna stir that up. By adding that sealer, you know, it, it lightened it a little bit, so we still can add just a little bit. All right, so now I'm gonna take it out to the slab and uh, we're gonna try a little spot and see if, it, if it's close. So all I got is a, you know, a, a cheap chip brush. Um, I'm just gonna dip it in there, you know, uh, push the excess on the side of the bucket to get most of the excess off. I'm just gonna take it and just try to paint it I can take a rag and kind of just help to blend the hard lines in. This spot right here, our highlight color, okay, so it's a little bit darker, so I'm gonna actually puddle it a little bit heavier at this spot just to kind of make it even a little bit darker so we, we don't see that. So I'm just kind of dabbing it on there and making sure that that spot's completely covered. You're still, you're still gonna be able to see this spot, but what it's gonna do is definitely hide it from how it was. So that's, I mean, that's the idea of this, is just to not make it like stand out, you know, so much. You're never gonna be able to completely, you know, fix something like this. I've done thousands of stamped concrete patios, and I've never had a perfect one yet. Um, but what I have figured out is, you know, how to fix areas or problem areas to help everything blend together, you know, and that's, that's what it's all about is just, um, doing the little things you can do to, to help with that. Thanks for joining us this week on Technique of the Week. Um, you know, 
Uh, we really appreciate you guys watching these every week, and uh, we'll see you next week. Ha have a good weekend.